Before we move on to deployment and push notifications, I want you to observe a couple of things about our app currently. For a number of pages, we want to get the freshest data when our user goes to that page. For example, one of those pages would be the activity feed. We always want to get the latest notifications displayed here, and so therefore we want to fetch data every time we're going to the activity feed. And the same applies to our timeline. We want to fetch the latest posts, so that means that we need to be fetching data every single time whenever a user goes away from our page and returns back. And the same applies to our profile. We want to see the latest post count, follower count, following count in our profile, as well as all of the updated data when we select Edit Profile. So therefore, on that page as well, we want to always be fetching data when we visit it. There's somewhat of an exception when it comes to our upload image page as well as our search page. So try to imagine we've searched for a given user. I'll just search for one of the users in my app right now. And we get our search results displayed to us. What if we want to flip to another page and say maybe comment on one of our posts or like a post, something like that, and we come back and we see that that state has been removed. We no longer have our search results, even though we might have been expecting them to be there. And the same applies to our upload image page. Say we've selected an image from our gallery, and on top of that we've thought of a great caption to include with our post, but say we want to, while we're doing this, check our activity feed and then come back to it, we see that the page is wiped clean. How do we preserve state on our pages so that users can go away from that page and still return to that page later without removing the state, without wiping clean all of the changes that they made? Well, fortunately for both of these pages, we can use what's known as a mix-in that Flutter makes available to us. So first of all, let's head to our upload page, upload.dart, head up to the top where we're creating our upload state class. And to use this mixin, we're going to add the keyword with, and this is called the automatic keep alive client mixin. And this is going to be of type upload for our upload page. So even when we change, change pages, this is going to preserve the changes that a user's applied to that page all the changes that we have stored in our state. So this is why we're specifically applying this to our state class. Now for this to work, for this mixin to work, we need to apply a couple more lines of code, which we can see if we highlight this. We see in the notes that subclasses must implement want keep alive. So what does this mean? Well, let's head down to our build function down at the bottom. And to indicate that our state should be preserved between page changes, we need to create a getter with the get keyword called want keep alive, which is going to return from this arrow function that will create just the value true. And we can say that the return value of this function is a Boolean. So again, you don't have to think too much about this. This is just a set of required steps to use this mixin. And then also, if we look back at its notes, we see it also entails providing to our build method super.build. So let's go down to our build function, exactly as it says. Above the return, just call super.build and pass in our build context to it. And that's all we need. Now there's more that we could look into about this mixin in particular if there were certain conditions where we didn't want to preserve our state and have the return value of this be false, we would use a getter called update keep alive, which would be executed when we either wanted this to be true or false based on those conditions that we set. But generally speaking, as a user is filling out the upload form, we always want keep alive to be true to preserve our state. And now we can repeat the same steps for our search page. So we'll go to search.dart and we'll find our state class. And we'll say with automatic keep alive client mixin of type 
search. We'll head to our build function, not for user result, but for search state and create our getter want keep alive, have that return true. Then above the return and build call super.build and pass in context once again. So let's save both of these files. I'll do a hot restart. So now let's try filling out our upload form. And if we try going to another page and flip back, we see that state is not thrown away. So that's good. And we can do the same for our search page where we'll search for a user If we go to profile and head back, we see those search results are still there.